So today we are going to start uh, what do you mean by UI path and what do you mean by RPA first and what are the things we are going to cover in this session that details we are going to provide here. So uh, right now I'm going to start here uh, with the UI path training uh, and uh, in UI path training what are the things we are going to cover all the details I'm going to provide here. So I am Pavan. Uh, I just completed um, BTEC in 2008 and I am having around five years of experience in Java technology. Uh, along with that, I'm having very good experience uh, in uh, RPA. Since from 2016, I'm working with the RPA and I've worked with the different types of tools. You can say uh, just uh, not only the um, UI path. I work with the Blipism, I work with the work vision. So multi uh, RPA, multiple RPA tools I had used till now. So that is the one reason uh, I can deliver uh, all kind of uh, training here. So before starting with the RPA here, I'm going to share some sort of a thing, uh, like which is very important for a, a one of the person who wanted to make a career in RPA. So as a, uh, engineering graduates, most of the people are going to look into this area like a Java, .NET or Oracle or some sort of other technology. But no one wanted to make a, their career in artificial intelligence or you can say not in RPA. So because of uh, most of the people don't aware about the RPA, that is most of the, that is the one reason people are not looking into it. So once people are going to finish their graduation or what I can say, why they are choosing engineering as a career or after completing their graduation, what they wanted to do in their life. So these are the simple questions I had. And if someone had some answer, please uh, write down it uh, uh, to me. After completing their graduation, one research I found uh, online said that so that 94% of engineering graduates are not fit for hiring. It's one of the uh, research paper shows me these details. Uh, from this uh, thing, why the uh, why why the this thing this uh, people are from the outside or industry are say telling this thing that 94% of engineering graduates are not fit for hiring. The reason is that. Uh, most of the people had a very good about the career. Oh, sorry, if they wanted to make a career in a software industry, they have a very good uh, knowledge or they have uh, education, um, mis completed their graduation in engineering or they are going to finish their MCA and all. Like uh, they are, they know the computer as an, uh, they know the computer as an, uh, one of the area where they can make uh, their career. But the thing is that they don't have a real time skill which is required in the market or they don't have vision and that is why they are lagging behind the, uh, getting a job in the uh, market industry. As you know, the coronavirus attacks, uh, uh, coronavirus attack to slow down the IT industry. So most of the IT industry now uh, wanted to miss sustain in this, uh, in this area. Because of, uh, you know, coronavirus attacks, so many transport industry, even uh, most of the, like you can say, uh, uh, e-commerce industry also, all these industry are uh, mis-suffered because of this uh, uh, coronavirus. Most of the time, transport industry, if you are going to check the airline industry or if you are going to check some sort of uh, European countries, so they are facing big problem uh, because of coronavirus. So then what I have to do? So there are so many problems around us. Then what we have to do? We have a problem. Uh, we can solve all those problems. Only the thing is that problems can become opportunities when the right people come together. Uh, this was a very good uh, quote uh, written by Robert. Okay. So it's very good to uh, say. Like in second thing is that you have a very good uh, amount of uh, people nearby you. They are going to tell, like, if you know the Vivekananda ji, so they are going to say, like, stand up, be bold, be strong, take the whole responsibility on your own shoulders and know that you are the creator of your own destiny. So these are the uh, some very good quote. Uh, then uh, what are the different types of opportunities are available in the market industry or in the software industry? So if you are considering the software industry, these are the different types of area you are going to find out. 
that there are product based companies are available there are internet based companies are available and also service based companies are available so mostly uh, the service based company uh, mostly going to use the rpa and that is why and even you can say internet based companies also going to use the rpa most of the time so uh, Uh, rather than talking about the rpa uh, like a, uh, what do you mean by service based what do you mean by mean by product based i'm just going to look into the rpa what do you mean by rpa so rpa is nothing but one of the uh, entity which is capable of being programmed by computer for doing complex tasks is known as a robot so robot if you are going to think about the robot robot means what most of the people are going to think uh, that they uh, they had uh, hardware robots but no one knows about the software robots but in a industry also in our in our rpa we are just going to create different types of robots which are going to mimic human behavior to execute a sequence of steps or action and which leads to a meaningful end without human intervention and that is nothing but your robotic process automation right so if robotic process automation will be there in the market then what what are the area we can utilize or what is the benefit of rpa in a market or in a software industry so if you are considering the benefit of rpa then because of rpa you can save the time so ultimately if you are going to save the time then it it becomes miss you can save the money also so this is a one very good example so suppose i am taking one example that uh, if you uh, every employee of any one of the company uh, every month they have to fill their time sheet so if he wanted to fill his time sheet then at least one hour will required to fill his whole month time sheet so if instead of uh, human being if suppose uh, in in a company if you are considering there are a, 10000 employee so if you are considering one hour for one employee then ultimately 10000 hours people are wasting to what fill the time sheet so here what we are going to do we are create one robot which can be able, which can take this responsibility and going to fill the time sheet so this is a very good way so ultimately we can save the 10000 hours of any one of the company so that they can utilize their time for other good purpose right so how the rpa looks like so if you are going to check the rpa or ui path so this is a ui path screen here so ui path looks like this this is one kind of re framework so how rpa case is going to be decided if you are going to consider the software industry or software engineering life cycle so in a software engineering life cycle it, it will consist of uh, like a uh requirement gathering then design then uh, requirement gathering you can say requirement gathering second one they are going to design it then third word is what uh, is important thing is that coding and last one is what i can say testing is the one of the phase and once we are going to finish all the coding and all then we are deploying that software once you are going to deploy the particular thing okay so once you are going to deploy the particular thing then they are going to what provide the support right so this is a software development life cycle which we are going to follow same like that in a software industry also or in rp industry also they are going to identify the element they are defining the structure then they are creating a flow charts or you can say they are creating some sort of uh, workflow which will help them to automate the some of the things so after that they are going to run it so this is a life cycle of rpa rpa so uh, what are the thing we can uh, automate the thing which are what i can say uh, repetitive and rule based things are there or rule based tasks are there which we can going to what i can say uh, automate along with that we can say if i am going to create a one software for uh, what i can say saving uh, for saving account or ba for bank purpose and i am just creating one robot to create a account of a account uh, of any one of the employee in a, uh, in, a in a bank for saving account same thing we can utilize to create a current account purpose so this is what scalability task which we are going to find out in rpa along that if suppose there is a new things are going to come so ultimately those thing 
can be learned by robot and then we can what uh, going to it uh, create the rpa right so before uh, rpa or before software robots the people are going to work in this area that application one is to be done by one of the person application two is done by the second person where as application three is going to be handled by third person nowadays because of rpa these all the three three things we had uh, automated so that's why no human beings will required uh, to perform the task right so because of rpa these three people can be utilized for very high, uh, very very good purpose or some other area so that they can use their their time so what are the different types of industry where you can or we can utilize the rpa solution so rpa solution can be used in banking industry we can use in insurance industry healthcare and pharma you can say manufacturing and retail banking or you can say uh, high tech and telecom industry or you can say travel and logistic uh, this area is mostly uh, what going to suffer because of this coronavirus so these are the area where we can utilize the rpa tools nowadays if you are going to check this rpa so in a market you uh, you are going to find out the ui path blue prism automation anywhere open span there are multiple tools which we are going to um, check or we are going to find out in the market out of that these are the four tools which are so much popular in the market and out of that now we are going to take ahead of ui path so what ui path will be there and what are the benefits of ui path so if you want to check the ui path this is a one of the syllabus which we have designed so in this syllabus what we are going to cover we are going to cover the basic of rpa what do you mean by rpa what are the thing what are the job opportunities are available in the market about the rpa and all these details we are going to cover in the uh, uh, in a lecture second thing is what do you mean by ui path in that installation and activation of the rpa tool then different types of uh, so uh, sequences or different types of uh, what i can say libraries we can utilize or we we can utilize uh, what do you mean by sequence flow chart state machine even different types of activity which we can utilize in this area along with that third session we are going to cover with the excel automation then we are going to cover the recording there are four kinds of recording which we are going to use like a basic desktop and web atom web recording and after that citrix uh, recording these are the four types we are going to use along with that there are so many image based automation will be there so this thing also we can uh, uh, go with it again wh what do you mean by scrapping how we can utilize the scrapping and all the image and text automation we are going to cover along with that uh, we are taking so many projects like uh, from the first lecture you are going to find out the different types of projects uh, in in our uh, use cases even exception handling uh, even we are going to create the custom component in it even uh, we are going to check the database and most of the important thing is that ui path orchestrator so these are the most important area where you can utilize the orchestration part so what do you mean by orchestrator what are the thing we are going to check all those details we are going to find out so these are the different types of process we can create in this ui path area and all those process we can automate so if i'm going to check the web automation now i'm going to start with a small uh, process in this small process what we are going to do we are just going to uh, uh, create one flow chart or one sequence which will be what going to open the what flipkart.com so he will open the flipkart.com here once you are going to open the flipkart then you are going to find out the shirts as in a, like a, you can say casual shirts you want to purchase then whatever the data will be there all this data we are going to scrap it and going to save it into the excel sheet so this kind of automation we are going to start so i'm just going to start with a small example here so just a minute uh, now i'm going to share so i'm just open the flow chart i'm just going, going to use one activity that is nothing but your open browser activity so in open browser activity what we are going to do we are going to start with the small uh, case that is a flip card here then in this case we will wait for uh, 5 second 10 second right so here i'm just going to wait for the 10 second so that uh, it will perform the 
it will wait to load the application. Along with that, we can say we will maximize the application. So this is a very basic activity which are going to finish. So I'm just going to create a one uh, flowchart for you at this moment, so you can understand how easy uh, UI path will be there and how we can uh, able to automate the things. So this is a simple structure which I had created that he will what open the UI uh, sorry. Uh, uh, flipkart.com and then second step will be there that he wanted to type into activity which we are going to use here so type into activity i'm going to use i'm just going to place right so i'm going to place some sort of a value or before that if i'm going to say rather than uh, type into first of all i'm going to use the click activity which will what going to click on the particular area so what i can say i'm just going to use the click activity once he is going to click then what we are going to say we are going to type into the this same area just going to type here i'm going to write down the shirts okay so once I'm going to uh, type the shells, then we can say enter the key, enter key we can press. Right? So enter is the uh, key. Now we will check how the application is going to work. So I'm just going to run this application again. So our flipkart.com is started, then he will say shirts, but before that he had entered the only the HIRTS, which is wrong. So what we have to do, we have to wait for a minute in this case, right? So what I will do. I'm just going to provide here some sort of a delay, which will and type into activity you can say So you're going to find out the shirts here. Now we are going to scrap all the data. So we are going to use the data scrapping in this case. In this case, we will take the name of that shirts. So I'm just going to take the name of all, uh, all the shirts. So what I can say, shirts name. Next, we are going to check.
So I'm just going to say type. Then we are going to take the price of that shirt. This will be the price which we are going to take. Then again we are going to take the discount which will be At last we are going to say if we want to take multiple data here so what I will do uh, we'll take some uh, multiple area so up to 10 uh, two part we will take so what I can say all the data here and then after that once the data will be there then at the end we are going to write on all the data in so the right range activity we will going to use that range right range activity is going to create one of the excel sheet so here we have one of the variable which will be what having uh, like uh, type as a data table so we are just going to change the scope of that uh, uh, particular uh, table so if you want to check the particular application so here i'm just going to create a one of the excel application you can say so app we just going to save this ex extracted data table in this area and going to save so we will run again you want to check the application then you can going to find out the small application like a flipkart.com it is going to open then he is going to click on the shirt the mystery is going to find out the shirts and from that he will extract the uh, all the data uh, into the excel sheet so this is a very small example which i had uh, completed here so once you are going to find out uh, the data so he will come back i'm going to show you where you are going to find out the excel sheet Here, so you will find all the data, right? So this is the data which will be. If I wanted to add the header or information as in a header, so I just have to click on the add header, and then again I'm going to run this application. So if I'm going to run this application, I'm just going to close. So you will open again Flipkart. Right. So once you right. column one type price, these are the details. I had given a type price, but I had given first one column. So that's why it shows us a column one. So this is the final output and this is the final state. Uh, okay, so 